Nestra ST2000. The titanium dioxide is widely used in different commodity markets. In chemical field, the titanium dioxide could be used as sunblock agent, thickeners, pen pigment, oil absorbing, or photo catalyst. Being used as UV blocking agent, different process will usually be required. How these processes were used need to be decided before the formulation development. The titanium dioxide acts as UVB blocker and SPF enhancer addictive in sunscreen products. Recently, scientists concerned nano risk because of the reason physical sunscreen market has decreased significantly. Nestra SD2000 is TiO2 coated with silicones, particle selected, and lubrication added. It's easy to use and can provide even UVA protection. Formulating with SunCat series UV filter for sunscreen products, it provides great efficiency and ease your concern. At the beginning, I would like to talk about the application of ST2000 briefly. According to our test result, ST2000 can contribute excellent UV protection and can be combined with other chemical or physical sunscreen agents to achieve better performance. In addition, because it helps to block UVA, therefore pigmentation can be blocked as well, providing synergistic effect with whitening and boosting skin lightening effect. It can also be used in anti-aging products because it helps to prevent UVA, consequently lessen the damage of elastin and collagen. So the aging process will slow down and wrinkle will be reduced. Lastly, ST2000 is not considered as nano-grade ingredient. Therefore, it can be used in wide range of skincare applications such as SPF boosting, anti-pigmentation, skin tone lightening, anti-aging, and anti-wrinkle effects, and without restriction from regulation. Let's try ST2000 employs the most stable type of titanium dioxide from Rattel, which belongs to tetragonal crystal system. There are two rare polymorphs of TiO2 known as Rattel and Enates. Rattel has among the highest refractive indices at visible wavelength of any known crystal. It also exhibits a particularly large birefringence and high dispersion than Enates. The surface treatment with silicone compound and dimethicone are done in order to reduce the reactivity with other active ingredients, especially chemical sunscreen ones. The incorporation of talc contributes its appealing and refined texture. Titanium dioxide is a non-toxic, inert, and inorganic material widely used in architect, medical, food, and cosmetics industry. Same as its application in architecture for reflecting, scattering, and blocking UV light to protect the construction. It has also long been used in skin care and sun care products to protect skin from the damage caused by sun exposure. When applied on skin, it effectively helps anti-aging and prevents pigmentation and wrinkles. BioNest has long been dedicated in research and development of titanic dioxide and found that particle size of TiO2 is critical to UV protection range. When particle size is between 10 to 80 nanometers, the protection is many against UVB. Only when particle size increases to the range between 80 to 700 nanometer, the UV protection range then move toward UVA as shown on the graph. In order to achieve the optimal UVA protection, BioNest has endeavored to control the particle size of titanium dioxide. Therefore, the range of Nestra SD2000 is between 200 to 500 nanometers. In this size range, SD2000 could perform better character in UVA protection than other larger particle size too. At the same time, keep UVB blocker character. Also, the size range is non-nano risk, as we observed. When the particle size is less than 100 nanometers, the UV protection will rapidly decay. 
This slide shows the composition of Nestrin ST2000. And for your information, the talk within has been checked and confirmed asbestos free. Just to give you some idea how SG2000 can help boosting chemical UV filter SPF. By looking at the chart, with cream plus SG2000 3% and 5% of Suncat MTA, the SPF is above 60. 3% of SG2000 with MTA, the SPF can easily increase 25 or increase 50%. We have prepared two kinds of cream, water in oil, oil in water, with different amount of ST2000. The data is provided by SGS Taiwan. For different formulation, the transmittance can keep steady between 290 to 380 nanometer, then go up after 380 nanometer, and keep steady again after 400 nanometer. For oil in water type, with 3% and 5% ST2000 can achieve 20 to 40% of transmittance. For water and oil type, the overall efficacy is slightly lower. Frankly speaking, 30% of transmittance can be easily achieved with 3 to 5% of ST2000. Regarding UVA protection efficacy, we have boot star rating data for different formulation. All data shows that ST2000 can provide excellent UVA protection. As you can see, they are all 5 stars according to initial and post-exposure UVA-UVB ratio. No matter oil in water or water in oil, 1, 3 or 5% of ST2000. We also carry out photostability test. The sample we used is glycine and ST2000 with a ratio of 50% each. The photo stability test was performed in September at noontime with the UV index between 7 to 8. Temperature is over 30 degrees C. The equipment model and equation are shown as below. In this equation, L represents the luminance, A represents color difference between red and green, and B represents color difference between yellow and blue. After sun exposure for 1 and 2 hours, the delta E are only 0.29 and 0.34, which are under 1 and means no color change is observed. Observation by naked eyes showed the same result. This is the stability test in different pH condition. The sample is prepared as suspension in aqueous system and the duration is 24 hours. As you can see, there is no color change after testing in different pH conditions. It means that ST2000 is very stable in various formulation with wide pH range. Similar photo stability test was also carried out. Even under irradiation of sunlight at noontime for 2 hours, ST2000 remains photo stable. Extra feeble test of ST2000 UVA exposure is the major factor for aging and inflammation of human skin. In this experiment, enzyme behavior related to three indicators aging, moisturizing inflammation in human fibroblast were observed to confirm the validity of the assessment product. Let's learn three different enzymes. First one, MMP-9, relates to aging. UV irradiation induces activation of MMP-9, which degrades most of collagen. At the same time, collagen synthesis will be suppressed. A second one, COX-2, relates to inflammation. When the body tissues suffer certain stimulation, such as trauma or infection, COX-2 will be activated. Large amount of it are found in the inflamed area. The third one, AQP3, relates to moisturization. AQP3 is a water channel protein, integral membrane proteins located on the cell membrane. It forms the channels in the cell membrane and has the ability to control the water permeability in the cell. GAPDH can be considered as internal standard or housekeeping protein. 
its protein expression will not be affected during experiment. With monitoring GAPDH enzyme, we can make sure the fibroblast cell is alive and healthy. The following is a test designed to show UVA impact on three related enzymes. MMP-9 for aging, COX-2 for inflammation, AQP3 for dryness. We will prepare cream with 1% and 5% of ST2000 and apply to observe if the protein expression of these three enzymes can be reversed. From the illustration, you can clearly see that UVA will increase amount of MMP-9 and COX-2 and decrease amount of AQP3. Eventually, loose skin and inflammation occurred. Literature also points out that moisture and aging are related. However, after apply ST2000, uh, the increase and decrease of these three enzymes can be reversed. Testing Procedures Cell culture is carried out using human fibroblasts. Sitting cells in different conditions with 6 cm dishes. And look at the chart, we have four groups in total. The first group is a control group without UVA exposure. A second group is UVA group. And third and fourth group are groups with ST2000 protection at 1 and 5%. Harvest time depending on different enzymes. Harvest cells is to measure protein in cell. Quantitative analysis is by Western blood. Let's look at the testing result. Impact of UVA on MMP-9 protein expression. The results. Under irradiation of 15 gel, MMP-9 protein expression of cells increased after 6 hours. Comparing with irradiation group without sunscreen, MMP-9 protein expression decreased due to application of cream containing Nestri ST2000. We now look at impact of UVA on COX-2 protein expression, the results. Under irradiation of 15 gel, COX-2 protein expression of cell increased after 6 hours, comparing with irradiated group without sunscreen. COX-2 protein expression decreased due to application of cream containing Nestri ST2000. The last testing result is impact of UVA on AQP3 protein expression. Under irradiation of 15 gel, AQP3 protein expression of cells decreased after 48 hours. Comparing with irradiated group without sunscreen, AQP3 protein expression is increased due to application of cream containing Nestra ST2000. Next, we are looking at test result analysis. Take a look at the chart at row 4, comparing between UVA group and control group, which is, um, has no UVA exposure. The MMP-9 increased 107%, COX-2 increased 224%, while AQP-3 decreased 23%. And row 5, after applying 1% of ST2000, compared with UVA group, MMP-9 has decreased 20%, COX-2 has decreased 12%, while AQP-3 has increased 34%. The last row, we are comparing 5% of ST2000 cream with UVA group. MMP-9 has decreased 34%, COX-2 has decreased 27%, while AQP-3 has increased 43%. The test conclusion, comparing with control group without UVA irradiation, UVA irradiation decreased AQP3 protein expression and increased MMP-9 and COX-2 ones of fibroblast cells. It is well known that these factors will lead to skin aging. With protection of Nestri ST2000 cream, 1 in 5%, AQP3 increase. MMP-9 and COX-2 decrease. It means that aging process can be retarded through application of skincare product containing Nestri ST2000. Considering amount of Nestri ST2000, 1% and 5%,
Cream of 5% SD2000 increased AQP, decreased MMP-9 and COX-2 significantly rather than that of 1% SD2000. At the end, let's review Nestra SD2000 together again. The inert and inorganic titanium dioxide makes Nestra SG2000 a perfect ingredient for skincare and sun care products with excellent safety, while the incorporated talc providing appealing and refined texture. Second, Nestra SG2000 can provide excellent broad spectrum protection throughout UVA range and therefore boosts the anti-aging and whitening effects when formulated in respectively skincare products. Third, either used alone or in combination with other sunscreen agents, Nestri ST2000 can provide excellent UVA protection, score the highest boot star rating, and reduce the total concentration of sunscreen agents as a result. Last one. Nestri ST2000 remains stable either after sun exposure or in different pH, and no any signs of color change was observed in the taste. It will make a perfectly safe ingredient for skincare and sun care products. Thank you for listening, and please come in to discuss with us if you have any in-depth question. Bye, and enjoy the exhibition.